all right, all right. Always sunny. Keep saying that. Dennis said that when he was tending bar. Here it is, the last one on the McFarlane line. It's the number one figure, but I save it till the very end. It is Batman. This is based on his Arkham City appearance. This builds Solomon Grundy. Like I said, he was number one. You know, first appearance, of course, Detective 27. It's iconic television, movies, cartoons, uh, radio, old serials, you name it. By serials, I mean the shit that continued every week, not the serial. Although there was a Batman serial when the Michael Keaton movie came out because it came with a Batman piggy bank. I have that bank still. Serial I don't have anymore. I ate it. It was gross. And if I had it to this day, it'd still be gross. This is the McFarlane. This was the number one in the set. I saved it for last. It's going to be the final piece of the build of Solomon Grundy. Let's get it under the camera and let's take a look at it. All right, all right, all right, all right. That's my new thing from Always Sunny. Here it is. This is piece number one, but we're doing it piece number four. It is the Batman, and it is the Batman based off of his Arkham City appearance. He is number one. He comes with Grundy's feet. Like always, I'm going to show you the side. So you can see it open, blistered. Other side, the logo, Batman Arkham City. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And the back, which tells you how to build. If you can't figure it out, we keep covering that. There's Solomon Grundy, Batman Catwoman, Raish, uh, Ghoul, and the Penguin collect to build. Batman Arkham City, it's a great game. If I've never mentioned that before, Todd McFarlane, I'm going to flat out say it makes the most awesome action figures. Let's slice it open. Man, that one was a bitch to cut open. Here we go, Batman. From the Arkham City game appearance. Fully articulate. And this is a good Batman. Let's zoom it in here. Always like how McFarlane did Batman. He always made the little horns oversized. You know, in the comics, still holds tr excuse me, true. Perfect. The pure white eyes the indents here where he's scowling because Batman always scowls pink lips just to offset it a little bit from the flesh colored face everything in this cowl you know his head moves but the whole cowl it goes down and you can see what he does nice is not only do you see it that's the cowl and then the cape is separate big flowing cape you can see it up oh, you can see it over the shoulders I love the gray look uh, the game kind of changed it from gray and blue to gray and black so you can see there is the black emblem, a little different, doesn't have the yellow in it. All the over-exaggerated ab muscles, arm muscles. Let's take a look here. You can see the weapons here. Why weapons, I mean, Batman uses them as, he can throw his little blades in the games and in the comics. He's got his gloves on. You can see they're all individually done fingers. He's got the little studs around him there for extra punching power on both hands. Everything is sculpted and molded. You can see the body underneath the outfit. You can see the utility belt. Utility belt is great. You can see everything has a pouch. And even if you lift up the cape, it's done all the way around. They spared no detail or no expense. It wasn't like it was just a yellow in the back. Move down to the legs. The legs are done very muscular, fully articulate. Here's his boots. Bend down, you can see the tie up uh, there because they're the combat boots and he's got the, you know, it's like a metal brace over them. Like in the game, like I said, it looks pretty neat game-wise. Cape, I mean, look at that cape. Look at the detail that went into that. Let's just turn it on the back. I mean, that is gorgeous. It bends. It's done to have a slight bend here. And like in the game too, you know, the more you go, the more tattered the cape will become, but... Here's his cape. Everything is perfectly flowed, perfectly etched. I mean, this is gorgeous. The most important part to me of Batman has always been his cape. And as you can see, this just does it perfectly. This whole toy is perfect. This is one of my favorite Batman is the detective variant that McFarlane did that has that Adam West kind of look about it. But uh, this is probably going to be, I'm going to say, my second favorite. Just because it looks so badass. I mean... It's got that angry look about Batman's face, but it's also kind of like that cold stare as well. The cape, I just can't get over how nice this cape is. You can see all the different shades that are put in, different variations of black, different variations of white and silver mixed into it. The whole costume just pops. The cod piece, the gloves, the cape, everything matches really, really well. It's just a really slick figure in general. 
durable, tough, you know, it's good to display, good to pose. And Batman comes, of course, with... Now we got to try and zoom in as close as we can here. Dun, dun, dun. The grapple gun. Yeah, and you can see this is another one. Look at that detail that went on to it. The three claws, of course. You can see everything. His air vents, the handle, the trigger. Everything is perfect. This uh, They kept this, really, from the 89 movie. One of the few good things about that. They did keep it in the game. It's one of Batman's primary gadgets. Probably the most primary gadget. Fits perfectly in his hand, as you can see here. It's a great accessory. Most of the Batman figures do come with these grapple guns. Just because it's kind of become iconic over time. But yeah, he looks really good. And I like him with this. Uh, it's really good to display, to pose. Like I said, my kid likes to play with them too. So it's a very slick figure. I'm going to put Batman aside. And show you that he comes with the feet. Solomon Grundy's feet. Gray looks a, gray she looks a little green in the light, but here you can see his big gigantic feet. Very done. It's all the scars are in it. All this vein work, line work, all the detail of his jeans. You can see just gorgeous. The frays, the tears, everything. It just clips right on. Now, this is gonna be a huge build a figure because I mean look at his leg. Next to Batman's leg. I can't wait to bust that out and show it to you. I mean, even the toes, as I spin it around here, you can see they're all done. The toenails are all broken and cracked. Everything blends together. I mean, this is a real identical match to games and comics of Solomon Grundy. It does move as well. This is a good figure. I'm, I'm anxious to build Grundy. Uh, Batman again, here he is with his grapple gun. Looks amazing. Let's talk about it for a few more minutes, and then pretty soon we're going to build, we're going to show you Solomon Grundy on the next one. There you go. And uh, like I have been trying to do, limit more of myself talking before and after, because you're here to see the figure, not me. That was the Batman. The number one, I saved the best till the end. Well, I'm truly saving the best, best till the end, because tomorrow we're going to show you Solomon Grundy who was the Build-A-Figure in that way. These Build-A-Figures are so amazing. And finally, we're going to build one. We're going to put it under the camera, let everybody take a look at it. But that was the Batman. Looks amazing, as all of them. There's so many Batman variants by McFarlane. I would recommend you get them all. Do yourself a favor. When this wave comes out, pick it up. If you're a collector, you're going to pick it up. You probably already got it on pre-order. If you're not a collector, if you're a video game fan or something, definitely get these and check them out. That's Batman. We'll be back for the final Build-A-Figure of Solomon Grundy. Give a like, subscribe, take care.